Hi and welcome to Learn DaVinci Resolve. Today I'm going to show you how to replace a smartphone screen with a different image and try and get it as clean as possible. So stay right there. We'll be right back. Okay, so uh, some people have asked how to do a screen replacement with uh, a phone and now some of the concepts we're going to look at, you don't need a chroma keyed phone like this, but it does make things a lot easier. So what I did is I went to this site, uh, pixels, uh, video.pixels.com, and I found a green screened image here. Uh, here's the one. So just downloaded it was free it has these nice markers on it which will be good for tracking but there's different ones that you can download if you want to ones with swiping and things i'm just going to do a real simple one and so I'll, I'll link this particular one in the description so you can find it if you want to follow along for the top image i'm just going to use any random uh, photo that i have so nothing exciting there and once we have this in, we're going to go to the Fusion page. And a couple different things we're going to do here. First, we're going to track it. Then I'm going to get rid of the markers that are on here. Then I'm going to overlay the image on it so that it's tracked. But we will probably have some green fringing around it because this was the screen was up a little too bright so uh, you can kind of see it on his hand right here so we're going to do a delta key on it to remove the green of the screen so that the image um, fits on there without any green fringing so a couple different techniques for today all right and what we're going to do first is let's let's bring up a a planner tracker and this is going to be very simple uh, let me get rid of my media pool and I'll make this bigger and right now I am in single screen mode if you have two screens you can click the icon up here to go to single screen mode this will make it a little easier for us to draw a rectangle in here and of course this isn't going to be perfect right off the bat and when you're finishing this make sure the icon changes see how it goes from the plus sign to the plus with the circle that's telling you that you've closed that square now i'm going to zoom in here and just make some little adjustments and you'll see i'm i am leaving a little bit of the outside because that's the glow and we'll be removing that in another step so i'm just going to get these corners down into the corner there uh, that's pretty good and we'll check this one okay that should be pretty good oops zoomed out a little far okay and let's go ahead and bring our node tree back up I want to make sure that I'm on the first frame so first thing I'm going to do is click the back arrows Make sure I'm on the first screen and I'm going to just track forward. Now this should do a very, very, very good job of tracking because the this is a planar tracker. It's, it's tracking planes. The green is, and with those markers on there is going to be very, very good. Now, if you're going to do the video recording on this, there are apps that you can use to do the green screen on iOS. I use an app called Chroma Screen, which is very similar to this with little markers on it that just make tracking a lot easier. On Android, I'm sure there's something for Android as well. So you can install those apps, play it on there while you're doing your filming to make sure that you have a very, very good way of tracking the screen. So this should wrap up here in just a moment. Uh, 
Not the fastest machine here, but there we go, almost done. And we should have a pretty solid track. Okay, excellent. And there's all of our keyframes. We'll go back to the first screen. And now I'm gonna bring in, I'm gonna go to my media pool and I'm just gonna bring in an image. I'll go ahead and close that. And I'm gonna rename this, I'm gonna go uh, F2 and I'm gonna call this overlay. And I'm gonna call this one uh, phone. Okay, just kind of keep track of things. Now I can uh, pretty much just take and, and drag this on here and go over to the operation of the planar tracker, select corner pin, and now I can drag these corners onto the screen here. Again, we'll zoom in and uh, tidy it up as best we can. And let me get this other corner. All right, so not the cleanest uh, setup there. So we'll just go and clean this up a little bit. So move these down into the corners. And again, I'm going to leave just a hair on the outside because we'll, we're going to clean that up in another step. So I'll move that into the corner. And move this one up into the corner. Okay, so let's uh, zoom zoom out. And let's see what we've got. So like I said, not the fastest track. Uh, this is a 2016 MacBook Pro uh, 13 inch, but we'll just scrub around here and you can see it, it did a really good job of doing the track, but we wanna clean it up. So how are we gonna do that? Okay, it's gonna be fairly simple actually. And I'm gonna take the phone and put that into my window so I can see it good and bring up the Delta here. Okay, I'm gonna hold down the eyedropper and move it over to the green. And then we'll go over to the, we'll go over to the mat control and uh, we'll adjust the mat on this. And we're not seeing it because I have it on the wrong screen. Ugh. Okay, we're gonna. <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna select phone, shift space, delta keyer, and I'm gonna make sure the delta keyer is on my window here. Come over to the delta keyer panel, and I'm gonna hold down the mouse while I drag the uh, eyedropper over and boom, there goes my uh, my green, pretty easy. And go back to our planar tracker and uh, hit over to our media out there and no more green fringing. So pretty simple. Now one other uh, little technique that I'm gonna show you here and I'm gonna go back over to my phone. I'll put that in my window here. Now, sometimes you might want to get rid of those track marks. Maybe um, you just want the whole thing to be green, make it real easy to uh, put something behind it instead of all we're doing is just taking it out so that we don't have the green fringe. But if we wanted to put the image behind it so that it was coming through the back of it, 
we'd have to get rid of these marks. So while I'm on the phone, I'm gonna shift space and hit paint, okay? And I wanna make sure I'm on something where I can see the output, like the media out. And I'm gonna click on paint, drag the, uh, actually, I wanna be on two screens here so I can get to it. I'm gonna drag the eyedropper over to the green color and I'll have my paint in one window and I'm just going to paint these things out. Pretty easy, huh? And I'm just going to try and match the colors really nice. In my case, I don't need to do a perfect job because I'm not using the uh, a transparency to pull something from behind. I'm just using it as a way of knocking out that green fringing. So if you need to be a little better at it, you can. But we're also going to look at using this paint tool in some other techniques to get rid of blemishes that are on, you know, maybe people or vehicles or things that we, we might not want there. So we can actually paint them out just like we can do with something like Lightroom and boom. And since this paint node is before the planar tracker, that paint is going to go with it. So here we've learned how to use the Delta keyer. We've used the planar tracker to do corner pinning, and we've used paint to remove uh, artifacts that are on there. So we're gonna go ahead and go over to the edit page, and we're gonna let this render. All right, now that the edit page has rendered the video out, we can play it in nice full speed. Uh, just full disclosure, that did take a while on my machine. It took a good couple minutes to render that. So your mileage may vary, based on the speed of your machine as how fast it's gonna render that. Well, let's take a look. We have basically a perfect track of that screen with the overlay on it. So if you're trying to do an app overlay on a smartphone, here's a technique for you that hopefully will get you going. And we learned a handful of different tools, the paint tool, the Delta keyer, and the planar tracker with corner pinning. So hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did not, and you're gonna do a thumbs down, let me know what you didn't like so I can make the videos better. But if you did like it, smash down on that like button, hit the subscribe, check that bell icon to make sure you get notified every time I put out a new video. And thanks for watching everybody. Really appreciate the, all the support. If you have a video that you'd like to see or you're having problems with something and you'd like some help with it, shoot me a message in the comments below and I will do a video for it as soon as I can. So again, thanks for watching everybody. This is Carrie with Learn DaVinci Resolve and I will catch you next time. Bye-bye.